Hey, welcome back to Louisiana Sportsman TV. We are back in the kitchen at Lake Creole. Executive Chef Ryan Andre. Ryan, I see speckled trout, I see crawfish, I see seasonings, I see vegetables. What are we doing? We're going to uh, pan sear some uh, Louisiana Gulf speckled trout. We also have some Louisiana crawfish tails. We're going to dip in a, in a, a beer batter, tempura batter, fry them up nice and crisp. We're actually going to toss them in with our Creole ponzu that we make in-house. Mm -hmm. We're going to butter it out a little bit and just kind of make it real rich. It's almost going to be like if you had an Asian flair on it, it would be like a sesame chicken crawfish on top of your, your uh, seared tuna. I'm going to get out the way. Fish. Get to work, bro. Half a cup of ice cold water. You need to make sure that water is ice cold for that. We also have a half a cup of beer. There's your beer batter. It gives it a kind of a fizzy, makes mm -hmm. it crust up a little bit more. You want to mix that up real good. Then you want to add any flour. One cup of flour, AP flour. So there, we're going to let that sit. We're going to go ahead and sear our uh, speckled trout. Put a little oil in the pan. All we need is a little, little Zatarain's Creole seasoning on both sides, right? On both sides. What kind of oil we got there? Olive oil? Or? That's just a little canola, canola oil to make it on the lighter side. Okay. We have a red bell peppers. And then we have some summer squash and zucchini. Great for the season. It also cooks up. It's real nice and vibrant color. And then all we're going to do is season this with a little salt and pepper. Now this fish right here, you want to get a good sear on it. Probably like approximately four to five minutes on each side. Okay. You're going to flip it over. Do about three or four minutes on the other side. Should be good to go. All right, you got your fish. You got a good brown on that side. So we got about what? Another two or three, three about three minutes on this side? Yeah. How long on the vegetables? Uh, you're looking probably three to four minutes. You don't want them too mushy. I kind of so like them with that little crunch to it. Yeah, like kind of cook them al dente. I mean, this everybody's got their own preference on how they want to cook. Right. This is our, our in-house made Creole Ponzu. It's right. uh, just a, it's got an Asian flair to it, but we actually add Creole mustard to it to make it a little Creole flair to it. We're going to have this for you on the website, so you can get the recipe for this on the site. All right, and all we're going to do is just take this, get it hot. You want it nice and bubbly like that. You can actually turn the heat off on it. Take whole cream butter. You want to just kind of slowly stir that around. It's just going to make it thicker and richer. And that sauce is ready. All right, so now all we got to do is fry the crawfish. Let's go fry some crawfish. Let's do it. All right, you got the craw I have the crawfish, you got the batter. Yeah, just put them in here. All right, yeah, here we go. Well, hell, if I'm going this well, way, yeah, let's do go it. all let's the way. It. Let's go Man. all the way. All right, now what? Have All I right. screwed this up completely yet? No, nope, we're going to drop this basket down that way they don't stick to the bottom of the basket. We're okay. going to take it, kind of drip off all the excess. Am I doing good? Just, yeah, and just kind of sprinkle them in there like you're putting pepper on something. Our Creole seasoning. Let's get us a couple more. I know you like crawfish. Yeah. And you just sprinkle them in the grease. Yeah, that way they don't stick together. You don't want them all clumped up. Thank God there's a hospital around here because <laughs> i got about fourth degree burns. Put our fish right on top. And you just reach in there and get your crawfish out. All right, that's, that's as simple it. as it can get. You can check this recipe out. We've got the whole thing for you at LouisianaSportsman.com. Also, LouisianaSportsmanTV.com. Chef Ryan, that looks delicious, and I'm going to eat it. I get you a fork. Get it. <laughs>